Well, the music world and rock fans today are mourning the shocking death of Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins. He was only 50 years old and fans have set up a vigil outside the Colombian Hotel where Hawkins died during the band's South American tour. No details have been released about cause of death. Hawkins was the Foo Fighters drummer for more than 20 years. Well, for more, let's reach out right now to Natalie Collada as she's been looking into the story for us today. So, Natalie, what is the latest information we have? Michael, we know he died during the band's South American tour. The band were scheduled to play in Bogota, Colombia on Friday. We have no immediate details as of yet on how he died, but this was the scene outside the hotel. You can see people holding up a sheet next to a forensic vehicle. The Foo Fighter drummer was, as you said, Michael, just 50 years old. In a statement on Friday, the band said that his death was a tragic loss. Mm -hmm. They took to Twitter saying his musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children and family. Now Hawkins final concert was last Sunday at a festival in Argentina. Reaction to his death has been spreading today. We are hearing from some big names in the music world, including the drummer from Metallica, who, who tweeted this, your phone call a week ago touched me and inspired me and I will always be appreciative of uh, for you championing our community as your parting words, drummers stick together. Now, except that community now is lesser without you. Now, we also heard from Travis Barker, who took to social media saying this, have a look at this. You'd come and watch me play in dive bars. You'd be like, kid, you're a star. And I thought you were, you were crazy, but you gave me much hope and determination. We're also hearing from big time guitarist Slash. He also on social media said this, devastated by the loss of our friend Taylor Hawkins. I've no words to express all the feelings I have about this, about his passing, but my heart goes out to his family, his band and his friends. Rest in peace, Taylor. Now, many people may remember it was just this past October that the band was inducted, Michael, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Foo Fighters, a very big name in music. Now, of course, Taylor Hawkins also had many Canadian fans, in part because of Canadian connections. Talk to us about that. Well, Michael, earlier in his career, Hawkins drummed for Canadians like Alanis Morissette, Sass Jordan. He was very visible in most of Alanis's videos from the album Jagged Little Pill. He was born in Texas and Fort Worth in 1972, raised in California in Laguna Beach there, and played for a band called Sylvia before landing his first major gig as the drummer for Canadian singer Sass Jordan. Now, he, in fact, met uh, the Foo Fighters frontman backstage at a show when he was still with uh, Morissette. He joined the Foo Fighters then in 97. And Michael, he leaves behind his wife and three children. Natalie, thank you for that. Our Natalie Collada in Toronto.